Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm a part-time reseller out of North Florida. I am a full-time nurse, and I also have a two-year-old. I do have older children, but they are not at home anymore, so I have my hands full. So today is going to be a little bit different than my typical video. I spent $750 at an online estate auction and I am going to show you guys what I got. So I hope you enjoy. I'll try and tell you what I think I will make off of these lots and see what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you see something you really like. All right, guys, so before we get to the footage, because you're not really going to see me throughout this because the camera's turned the other way, I do want to let you know that about $250 of the $750 was for items to use for the shed for reselling and also for us personally, and you'll see some of those items. So only about $500 was spent on actual items to resell. So... Don't forget, on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be live with our reseller chat. We have that every week. And if you would like to hit the join button below, get some more info about joining channel membership a week from tomorrow, will be the members only live where you can get your eBay store reviewed and ask some questions. So let's take a look at the stuff and let me know what you think. So Dalton and I are out in the shed. I won four or six shelves from the auction so this is what i'm working with here i want you guys to see the before because i'm hoping you see the after this is the last little tiny bit of the nasal mist if you saw how much we had before and those are five million shirts i probably shouldn't have got so let's see what i can do with the shed to get these shelves in here dalton's in here helping me watching his phone can you say hi Say hi. What are you laughing about? <laughs> All right, guys. So here is what we have. We have room. So on this wall, I can put, I think, four of the shelves. They're narrow. And then I move the clothes here. And then I'm going to put this old craftsman um, tool chest on auction and let it go. Because the top's there. That's there. And then I think we can put some more shelves here. And yeah. So the CVS nasal mist is now down to just this little pile here, and it was over 200 cases. So we have sold a lot of CVS nasal mist. Dalton, Dalton, say hi. Are you going to say hi? Hello? No. All right, guys. So Brad went and picked up. We got this really cool seagull. It's like a lamp and then there is a table dalton thinks it's a jungle gym in here with the seagull and the rope around it. it's pretty cool and i got six new shelves and then we also got these storage for us and then i will show you guys all of the stuff that's in here it's all full so yeah so we have got the shelves in there are three here and then I put that craftsman tool shed or tool tool shed tool um box on auction. So hopefully it'll be gone. And I got these two back to back here and this one. And then once the tool shed is gone, we'll have room to walk from one side to the other. So yeah, looking good. All right, guys. So I didn't even unload half, but I'll show you some of these things. I got this at a yard sale last weekend. Pretty cool um, Mexican vase. And then this, this stuff is all from the auction that I got the shelves from. This is a really cool big drip glazed pottery. Dalton loves the seashells. And then I got some mugs. I found sold comps on this mug for like $22. And then there's some horse decor. Down there, there's some more horse decor, some cool wagon wheel coasters. 
And then there's this mermaid art. This seahorse picture is really cool. And it was made in Italy. And there's some of the artwork. Some more mermaids. Awesome starfish plates. These are like either cast iron or brass. I'm not sure these mermaids. And then there's some really cool plates here. These are melamine mermaid kisses. There's like the serving one. I really like the mermaid bowl. There's some vintage like mermaid napkins that are pretty cool. And then down here, I also got, this is Jean Speck, which is art seems to do pretty well. And then we put the seagulls down here. So the shelves are starting to fill up. None of this is listed. Um, and I'll empty the rest of the truck and maybe it'll fit on all the shelves I bought. Oh, trying not to move stuff in the house. So I'll have to take it from here and I'll list it and then it'll move over like all of this stuff you see is listed there. So it will move from these shelves to those. Okay, so we're going to go through the rest of the truck now. It is now Saturday. I told Brad, do not break this thing no matter what you do. I paid $86 for this thing. And I will throw some comps up for you guys. It looks to have an amazing, amazing sell-through rate. So He strapped it in for the ride home. Hello? All right, so you guys saw what I already got out, and now we're going to get all of this out, and we're going to go through it. I'm going to show you what I got. All right, so here is everything on the trailer. This is a big trailer. Um, so you might be wondering how I'm going to go through this stuff. So what I'll do is go through, because some of this stuff isn't sellable, some, if you see, like, there's hair on this, I'm going to wash this before I list it. So I've got my washer open, so a lot of stuff will go straight to that. And I'll pull what's good, and we will... Hi! We'll put it in the shed. And I'm trying not to bring more in the house because my death pile is so bad. So I'm going to show you guys some of this as I go through it. And maybe talk a little bit about how to deal with buying so much stuff. Okay, so this is the first lot I'm going to go over from the trailer. You can see I got a Denver Broncos blanket there. And then I also got Great Wolf Lodge. This is a fanny pack. So I'm a Florida Gators fan, but I do not discriminate when it comes to what I sell. This is a Georgia collectible team set. You can see the price of $24.99 on that. Also, this Georgia insulated lunchbox. So if you guys see anything you want in this stuff, let me know. I'll make you a good deal. A Georgia little plush kind of foam finger thing. There are also two of these B Tor BX. This, I look these up. So um, this is everything from that lot. I looked up these golf balls and there's only one listed at $39.99 for one box. I paid for the balls. All of this you see here, I paid six bucks. Aria is inspecting and Dalton. Six dollars, guys. So one of these things sell. I'm in the profit. And those golf balls are worth about 80 bucks. I'd say I got about a hundred dollars here on this six dollar lot. All right, so you guys see I have brought some stuff in the shed, and then I'm leaving these balls out because what I'll try and do is the higher price stuff I'm going to try and list fast because I want my money back as soon as I can get it. I did spend $750 on this stuff, but I got that awesome bench there that's these two Rubbermaid storage containers for the front and that cool plant stand and a ton of stuff too, but I want to get my money back as soon as I can. Dalton and Aria are playing on the bench. So second lot, these are actually all dandy. I couldn't see the brand, so I kind of took a chance, but this horse looks like it sells for about 15. The two little horses are also dandy and they sell for about $9 plus shipping. This little beanie baby's probably five bucks. And then there was a penguin. So this doesn't have a tag. So I'm gonna give this to the dogs to play with and then I'll keep this. And so I paid five bucks and I should make about 35. So this isn't like a great profit, but it's not horrible.
All right, so next lot was these kitty cats. I will tell you guys, I think this one will go for $50 plus, and this one should go for about $40, I think maybe $30 on this one, and then about $15 or $20 for this one. But what I want to show you, I want to get in close here, is that there's tons of hair on this thing. Um, if you see, tons of hair on these, so... I'm just gonna, and like this one has some dirt marks or stain. So I'm gonna take these right now and throw them in the washer. And with plush, I just throw them in the washer and dryer because nothing else is really gonna get that hair off. I'm not gonna take the time to use a, um, like a lint remover because it's everywhere and I'd rather they be clean. And there's nothing here that can't be washed. They're like pillows. So that's what I do with most of my plush. I forgot to say I did pay $10 for these, so about $2 a piece, and I expect to make over $100 on these four cats, so this was a great lot. All right, this next lot, I paid $12 for it. This is a really nice throw pillow here. You can see, like, the embroidery and the sequins there, and then I got that throw pillow. These are just the covers, but I think I might be able to get, like, I don't know, like maybe two for 15, the sea turtle. You always have a shell in your pocket, sand in your shoes, the sand dollar. And then there's also this pillowcase and then two um, pillow covers here. There's a bottom sheet, top sheet, and a little starfish uh, bed skirt. This I might try and sell locally. So I paid 12 for this and I should get at least 50 if not more because I'm thinking I could probably get $20 on this pillow by itself which will pay for the lot and maybe like 20 to 30 bucks for this sheet and pillowcase set on local marketplace up next this is a lot I paid $12 I honestly will probably keep it this little charging port here Dalton's got let mommy see it has like where these are little battery charging stations and i looked this up this is like 50 bucks new and i think we'll be able to use that it has this little sony dream machine that looks like maybe 10 bucks and then the rechargeable battery station we will use for us as well so this lot um might break even with the sony dream machine or close to it and then we'll get the charging station for free up next i paid five dollars for this lot here and the main reason i got it was this little teapot it has comps as high as 28 on ebay i couldn't really find much about this china which happens sometimes but with these saying pink roses and gold trim might sell them there are four teacups and saucers but i'll make my money back just on the teapot and then i also paid five for these so any of these lots i paid five for nobody bid against me because that is the starting bid on this site and these are k lamb shannon and i found some comps that were okay so i'm hoping i can get like 10 to 15 bucks per print on these i forgot too that teapot lot had this shelf i think there are comps like for 15 to 20 on this as well so that's going to be a decent little pickup dalton has decided he likes the power bank so that's keeping him busy we've still got all of these to go through and there's a bunch of different stuff so stick around guys all right so this little miscellaneous lot i paid 16 for and mainly because i saw these little recorders the sony looks like it sells for 45 to 50 and then there's also this old radio shack one that looks like about 25 to 30. i am going to set these two because they're higher priced by themselves with my golf balls there and then there's just some little miscellaneous stuff. The, um, the magic jack might be like 10, 15 bucks. And then this little wallflowers plug in, same thing, about 10. There are some cool little phone cases here, but I have no clue what size they're for. So not sure what I'll really do with those guys. Oh, and there was also this little power adapter that I found some listed and unsold for like 10 to 40 bucks. So I paid 16 and I should make, I'd say at least 80. Oh, also these glasses cleaners with the carbon clean peeps um, sell for about 20 bucks. So I should make about a hundred off 16. This slot here, I haven't researched. This is pretty cool though. This is a like vintage candle holder. 
and it's got the glass globe on it and then this candle holder says it is teak i have not looked this one up but i paid five for these three and i think with christmas coming like this little horse candle holder will be a good seller all right guys so this lot i paid six dollars and fifty cents for has this really cool horse throw it is a fleece there's one sold for 30 and there are a few listed sell through's not great and then it also came with like sheets so i might i'm not sure if i'll list it with like free sheet set or something if these are no name brand if they're name brand i will um post them by themselves but as you can see just like some of that other stuff there is some hair all over this so I'm going to throw this in the washer now. All right, so this is another lot. I paid $5 for all of this. Um, these, there are three. They have an okay, um, maybe like five bucks a cup Premier Fine China. It's nothing crazy. But these, I think, might be worth some money, like 10 to 15 each. And I have four of them. So this is smith taylor usa so i gotta research those a little more and then i gotta look up this crystal bowl google lens is really good for that and then these little glass bowls if you look they say arco rock france these look like they might be five to ten dollars a bowl and i have three so when i see lots like this for five bucks even if you paid 50 cents each at goodwill you're not going to get them this cheap so when I see cheap lots like this and have stuff that's pretty like that, I pick it up. This one, I've got to do some more research. There's none listed, none sold on eBay. So this, you can see it says Betty Heartland. And on the back, it says hand painted by Betty Heartland. So I got to look this up because that might be something. The hair on this stuff is insane. I'm going to open this up and show you guys and see if I see a brand. But look at that. This is all got to be washed and dried. I have the washer going now and I'll start another load. Let me open this up. So this one's really pretty. You can see the USA barn and then it's got the artist here on the blanket. I found this print. Um, I have to find it again, but most of the time when you, the cats are adding more hair to it, because why not? Um, and this set did also come with a set of sheets. I paid eight dollars for this it should go i would say like 40 maybe a little bit more and anyways normally blankets and stuff aren't like this from online estate auctions but these are all horrible the plush as well so everything's gonna have to be washed a little more work this next lot is some shower curtains i think i paid six these should go for about 20 each there's this one here with the horses and i did find some comps on this um it is river ridge or river's edge and then there is also this one here with like the cowboy hat and the boots i have helpers anyways um so about 40 50 bucks but it looks like they sell pretty good that lot also had this little horse or cow print rug which no surprise has hair all over it so we're gonna wash that as well watch out for shower curtains guys you can find them super cheap at like yard sales estate sales and they sell for like 20 to 40 sometimes more next i paid nine dollars for this lot it's a little horse garden flag i think this lap quilt will i'm hoping bring me like 50 bucks that's the main reason i bought this it is like hand quilted it's very pretty and then this vintage tapestry pillow look hair everywhere anyways i'm gonna wash that one but i think i can get like 20 bucks for that vintage tapestry pillow next this is a lithograph signed by don williams disney's hollywood studios it does have the certificate of authenticity and i think i'll get about 40 i paid 11.50 for this but i thought it was cool the other ones went a little too high comps on this one look about 40 dollars next i paid six dollars for this lot i think i can get 25 to 30 for the little mermaid scales um it's got like the rug to go around the toilet and then it's got the topper for the toilet and the rug two other rugs and uh we might put this dalton's been starting to take a shower <laughs> i 
Don't. We are almost done going through everything. I think Dalton's about over this. He doesn't seem to mind too much, though. So. so this lot, I paid nine dollars. I did find comps of these uh, valances for forty dollars sold, and none are listed. It's supposed to just be the toppers, but I actually got the suede uh, curtains to match it. So I got two sets of curtains and two valances. So I'll probably list those together. I might be able to get sixty to eighty dollars for this. They're so not a bad pickup there. This is the last lot. Yay! So we got some more mermaid bath decor. I might be able to get like 10 bucks each on these little ones. These towels look like they sell for about 15. I might put the mermaid stuff in my bathroom. I haven't decided, but tons of hand towels and stuff, which we can always use here at home. I don't know about you guys. Uh, we have a friend who loves flamingos, so I'm going to give her that towel and metal for Christmas. This is a Tropics World big towel. I think I can get 20 bucks. It's a mermaid. Um, so it's probably going to be maybe 20 bucks profit or break even, but I'm going to use like this little bathroom um, trash can in my bathroom. So we'll get some stuff for the house. And let me show you guys now that it's all inside of the shed, except for what you just saw. So I got the shelves, and you can see all of the stuff which is not listed, um, including that cool little seagull. And then there's more that's in the washer, but basically the stuff I bought almost fills up the shelves I bought. Um, so we're going to have to get this stuff listed. I didn't, I didn't put any on the shelf on that side, but these are all pretty full. If you notice, my breakables are typically going to be my top two shelves, so Dalton can't get to them. And yeah, so I am going to get to work listing this. You will see this on Sunday. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget our live on Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'll see you there. Bye, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you see, I am at work while you're watching this. So I hope you saw some cool things. If there's something you want to buy that you saw, just let me know in the comments or in the chat when it premieres and I'll give you guys a really great deal. There's some really cool stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you guys on the live on Tuesday night. We will do another what sold video on Wednesday. We have a lot of items are already about 20 items going out tomorrow for shipping and I hope to sell a lot more today. I really appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you for watching and hanging out with me and for everyone that's been here the whole time. Thank you guys as well. I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Bye guys.